Hello friends, in this tutorial video, I will show you how can we configure and set up Bring Your Own Database also known as BIOD in Microsoft Dynamics 365 for finance and operation. Let's begin. Creating a SQL Database Before you can configure the Entity Export option and use the BYOD feature, you must create a Azure SQL Database by using Azure Portal. For Azure SQL Deployment, please log in in your portal.azure.com website. In search bar, search SQL Database and then start creating a new SQL Database. And fill all the informations like resource group, your database name or you can select an existing as your SQL Server or you can create a new SQL Server. I am defining the server name and as SQL Server Admin Login and a password. You can see, you can change the existing location. And click on OK. You can select various options, but for testing, I am making sure all the default options. Now click on next and go to networking. Here I am selecting public endpoint, but again you can select as per your own need. Next additional settings. I am disabling as your SQL Defender for SQL. And now everything set up now i will click on review and a resource will automatically create it will take few seconds or minutes to complete the deployment
So my deployment is now completed. I will click on go to resource button. It will take me on the Azure SQL database I recently created. For further step and for next step, I will require SQL connection string of this server. In the left pane, you will see options of connection strings. Click on it. This connection string will be required in our next step for configuring BYOD in D365 Finance and Operation. I am just copying it for my future reference. In this step, I will show you how can we set up configure entity export to database option in data management module of D365 finance and operation. Now copy the SQL connection string from your Azure SQL database. You need to change password later in this tutorial. Now go to your D365 finance and operation environment and go to the module data management. In module data management, click on option configure entity export to database. Create a new record. Let's say BYOD. We can make the description same. In connection string, you have to paste the value you copied from last step and change the password and validate. You are seeing a test completed successfully message is popping up. It means your connectivity and your setup of BYOD server has been completed. After validating the connection string, you have to publish your BYOD entity store. Now click on publish. And you will able to see all the data entities of D365 finance and operation. You can filter out which are already published in your BYOD database and you can opt out. You can see all those which are not yet published. For testing scenario, I will use product entity. I am using all products entity and I will publish in our BYOD database. It is showing publish job has been scheduled. It will take few minutes to complete. As you can see, successfully published entity all products to BYOD has been popped out. Now I will export data from D65 finance and operation to BYOD database using all product entity. For this go to your data management module. Click on export. You can define a name here. And 
in the line section you can select entity all products in target data format select byod you can select incremental push or full push as per your business scenarios click on add now entity has been added in my export project close the window and click on export button for removing your data from your d65 finance and operation environment to your byod database using entity all products it is showing data export job scheduled please refresh the form to view current status and you can see the execution status has changed to executing now it is saying execution status completed and here you can see 8428 records are exported in our byod server